Hello students, how are you? Today I am with another fascinating chapter that is our universe. Chapter 10, our universe. We are so fascinated about universe and we all want to know a lot about universe. Today we will have some knowledge about this vast universe. Now universe consists of stars, planets and all the heavenly bodies. These heavenly bodies are attracted towards each other by gravitational force. The closer the objects or the closer the heavenly bodies are, the more is the gravitational force. So let us know more about it. Let us start with our sun's family that is the solar system. Solar system consists of sun in the middle and eight planets revolving around the sun. In this solar system, we also have some other heavenly bodies such, such as asteroids, comets and meteors. What are meteors? Meteors are the chunk of iron or stone revolving around the sun. Now, when coming to the planets, we have eight planets. From Let us know about this eight planets starting from the nearer planet that is to nearer planet to the sun. First is Mercury, then Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These are the eight planets which revolve around the sun in elliptical orbit. In the picture you can see how the solar system looks. It looks like a disk where all the planets are revolving around the sun and we are the part of the huge milky way what is milky way milky way is the family of stars now let's know about the sun what is sun sun is present in the middle of the solar system and it is the sole source of energy of this solar system all the planets and the heavenly bodies are revolving around the sun the sun is around 50, 150 million kilometer away from the earth. It is a spherical body and its diameter is around 13,92,000 kilometers. It is the hot burning ball of burning gases. What are the gases present in the sun? Hydrogen and helium. So sun is the hot ball of burning gases. Now from where the sun is getting so much energy? Inside the sun's core the hydrogen is being converted into helium and this conversion releases enormous amount of energy that is the source of energy of the sun and that is the source of energy of this solar system. Sun's energy is the basis of the existence of life in the solar system. All the energy which is present in the solar system is due to, is due to sun. Now we will know about the planets. In the solar system, the eight planets are divided into inner planets and outer planets. The Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars are considered as inner planets and Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are considered as outer planet as they are far from the sun. The outer planets are a huge ball of gases and they have some external ring like structures. Now let us start with the third planet that is our own earth. Earth is the third planet of the solar system and it is the fifth largest planet of the solar system. Let's know the interior of the earth in details. The interior of the earth can be divided into three parts, core, mantle and crust. The innermost part of the earth is known as core. It is subjected to extreme temperature and pressure. Again, this core can be divided into two parts, outer core and inner core. The outer core is around 2300 km thick and it consists of molten iron and nickel. Some amount of sulfur is also found in the outer core. Now the inner core is the solid iron, is a solid ball of iron and it is around 1200 km thick. 
Next is mantle. Mantle is sandwiched between the core and the crust. It is around 2900 km thick. The outer surface of the mantle is solid rock and the inner surface of the mantle is the molten rock. In during a volcanic eruption, the molten rocks from the mantle comes out through the volcanoes. The last layer is the crust. Crust is the outermost layer and it contains all the material which are, which are required for the survival. Crust is made up of solid rock. Its thickness varies from 5 km under the ocean floor to 70 km under the continents. So, today we have learned about the solar system, the different planets and about sun and about the interior of the earth. In the next video, we will learn about moon, its phases, eclipse and the rest part of this chapter. Till then, bye!